Hey guys, Brandon here, and uh, I'm making a video today that I normally wouldn't make. Uh, I didn't think I'd be making a video over a topic so simple and so short, uh, but about a year ago, I think maybe March, April or so last year, I made a video on how to drive a manual transmission car in my uh, Subaru BRZ. And I believe I made that a year ago, like I said, and that's done really, really well. That video is now at well over 100,000 views, maybe 200, I'm not sure, but it's doing pretty well. But the number one comment I get on there is a very, very simple question. Uh, and that is, um, what do you do if you want to come to a abrupt or a quick stop? And this is such a simple topic that I thought I talked about in the video, but it's a longer video, so maybe not everyone made it through. But yeah, so people are afraid of manual transmission cars because, okay, let's say once they get rolling, how do you stop quickly? There's just too much to do. And well, not exactly true at all, actually. Um, in fact, uh, your brakes, if I'm gonna say anything about this, let's say, cause everyone always says this, like in the comment section, what if it's an emergency? What if I have to stop really quickly? Just remember this, you could be doing 100 miles an hour in sixth gear, your brakes will always be your brakes. Uh, so here, I'm gonna go ahead and stop uh, normally cause I got a stop sign here, but I'll explain the right ways to do it. Um, so yeah, just remember that if, if you're like scared, oh my gosh, if a dog runs across the road and I'm doing 60, I mean, what do I do? Your brakes will always break, okay? Now, if you do hit your brakes while in sixth gear and you come to a full stop, obviously you're gonna stall the car. What you do, put the clutch back in and start it back up. It was worth stalling the car to not hit whatever car or deer or obstacle, uh, you avoided the collision. So you re just remember, your brakes are always gonna be your brakes, even if you don't clutch in. So remember that if you wanna relax. So let's say you want to stop the right way. Um, that pretty much you just hit the clutch and the brake at the same time to stop just as quickly but prevent it from stalling. Uh, so that's what you do. Uh, so let's say right now I'm in fourth gear, got another stop sign coming. I put the clutch in, now brake. Still in fourth gear. And we are coming to a stop and the car is obviously just idling just below a thousand RPM. We are not stalling. And then I put it in neutral, put it in first and it will start rolling again. So that's the right way to stop. There's actually a few right ways. Uh, so again, just remember, going back, your brakes will always be your brakes. You wanna stop without stalling the car, put the clutch in. Or you could just put the clutch directly into neutral and then start to stop. So there's three ways to stop the car, two of which are the better ways. Now, for the more advanced way uh, that you guys probably don't know if you're watching this video, but you've probably heard about, and I made a video solely on this topic, and that is heel-toe downshifting. What heel-toe downshifting, or rev match downshifting is, is pretty much doing two things, I'm sorry, three things with two feet. That is your left foot on the clutch, and your right foot blipping the throttle while braking at a uh, consistent uh, pressure. And so what that does is allow you to stop quickly while keeping the car at higher RPMs. That way you're always able to accelerate hard. That's not the questions I'm getting, so I, I don't need to touch on that too much here. People are just talking about emergencies. But if you're interested in heel-toe downshifting, which is more applicable for like a racetrack, let's say you're on a back straight doing 140 and there's a hairpin turn coming and you have to slow down to 20 to get around that hairpin turn, you want to downshift and brake, obviously. Uh, but the reason you want to downshift to keep the RPM size because you're always in the power band to accelerate with power versus like bogging the engine down. Um, so I made a video solely on uh, just heel toe downshifting and rev matching. So if you guys are interested in that, then there's that. But I don't think you guys are talking about racetracks here. I think you guys are talking about emergencies. And like I said, guys, just back to the beginning of the video, your brakes will always break. You want to brake without stalling, put the clutch in or put it in neutral either way. That's pretty much it. So I'm sorry if my last video didn't touch on that that much. I thought it was pretty simple and I did. I'm pretty sure I did touch on that a little bit. But uh, anyway, if you guys wanted a shorter video just on how to brake uh, without uh, running into anything, there you go. So hopefully that very simple uh, video did something for you. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.